Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So in this how-to video, we're gonna be looking at how to change a silicone seal on your dry suit. Um, so this is vastly different from a latex or a neoprene seal that need to be glued in. The main benefit of a silicone seal is that you can change it on the dive sites just before a dive. And I've done this myself. Um, so there are two different ones. You've got a neck seal and a cuff seal. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you both. First of all, I'm gonna take a look at changing a neck seal on a silicone dry suit. Okay, so first of all, all you're really gonna need for this is a replacement neck seal uh, and your pizza cutter tool that you get with your dry suit or um, your sort of replacement seals. Um, so this is a very basic seal. It's not an actual pizza cutter. It just looks and works similar to one. Um, you've got a little handle and then a spinning disc. Um, they'll often have a little cutout on one side as well. That can help with kind of levering, um, but this is for fitting the, uh, the replacement seal. So to take the original one out, turn it inside out, and, um, and when you look at the seal, you'll be able to see that there's like a yellow um, sort of ring on the inside, uh, and this is what's holding that seal in position. So if you take kind of hold of the old seal on both sides, and just kind of pull that as close as you can, Normally, if you're replacing a seal, it's because it's damaged. Just kind of open that up and pull that, and that will then just come out free. Okay, take that yellow um, sort of ring out, and you'll notice that on one side, it has a little sort of right angle section. On the other side, it's just flat and squared. Um, so remember which way it came out. Uh, I'll show you again when we go to, uh, to put it back in. So then, you discard your old seal. Uh, I'm just gonna put the same one back in because it's a new suit. Um, some neck seals have a front and a back. So if it has bellows at one section, usually it's at the back so that you can look down and that gives you a bit of stretch in the back of your neck. Um, some instructors like to have the bellow at the front so they can look up at students. Um, Depends on your preference, but normally the bellow is at the back. Uh, this has a bellow all the way around it, so it doesn't really matter which way it goes back in. So put it back in with like the shiny side on the outside. Um, there'll be a natural kind of lip um, on the inside, and that's where you're gonna put your yellow disc. Um, and this is gonna go with that kind of 90 degrees sort of facing you towards the inside of the dry suit, and then the flat square section is going down into, the, um, into that external ring. So cover that all up and make sure it's fitted inside of that neck seal. And then line it up, and around the, uh, the ring systems that's fitted into your dry suit, there'll be that little recess, and that's where you're pushing that into. So this is where the pizza cutter comes in. The pizza cutter is gonna sit in that little recess in the yellow ring, and then you just push that so it sits into that recess. And then using that ring, you kind of roll it around so it pushes into position and then just work really slowly, nice and gently, taking care not to uh, sort of slip. And uh, it's always easy if you have a nice wide flat surface to push against. You're just gonna very slowly, very gently, push it all back into position. And then once you're all completed, your new neck seal is fitted. So one thing that I often like to do is do one section and then pop over to the other side because sometimes when you um, when you get to the other side it can sort of bunch that neck seal up you want to make sure that it's in there nice and evenly and then this way you make sure it's not folded over anywhere it's nice and neat and you're going to get an effective seal a lot of times like it is right now it's going to pop back out but that's fine just use that uh, sort of pizza cutter to push it all the way back in. So this is why it's handy to always keep this with you on the dive site and also keep a, um, a spare neck seal as well, just in case you do rip it whilst you're getting kitted up. You can replace it without having to skip the dive. Okay, so that's all back in position. And then you basically just want to sort of expose that yellow ring, make sure it's nice and even, make sure it's in all the way around. And once you're happy with that, you're ready to go diving again. 
Okay, now we're gonna look at replacing a cuff seal. Uh, so you can use your pizza cutter tool, uh, but I tend to prefer to use one of these. You can get these at sort of bike stores and whatnot. A lot of um, sort of new replacement kit seals and ring systems, they're coming with these. Um, this is just a, a little tire tool and it just helps to, um, to get that um, sort of internal ring out. So the way the oval system is fitted is that you have a kind of semi-rigid ring that's fixed to the dry suit and then on the inside you have a rigid ring um, and that's going to be what you want to take out. So say you rip your, uh, your cuff sealer or you want to fit a different one, where they meet you just kind of want to jam that in and then kind of twist it and then work that inner ring out. Now, um, I'll show you in a second. There are some ridges that you can get a bit of grip on. So these ridges, if I take that seal out, you kind of want to get that tool underneath that and kind of lever that out, and that just kind of pulls it out. Once it's out, it's very easy. Um, the silicone cuff seal is wrapped over the back side of, um, of the ring itself. So you just take that off, replace the, um, the seal with a brand new one. And then on the outside of the, uh, the replacement cuff seal, you notice right at the, uh, the back end, there's a little lip. So that is going to sit inside one of these rings that we were looking at earlier. So put it all the way through with the shiny side um, sort of outside. And then you're gonna fold that over until it's just on that kind of second lip. And then push that all the way around. So that's fitted nice and neatly. Okay, sometimes I use, uh, I like to use a little bit of silicone grease on this, uh, just to kind of grease that, um, uh, that edge, because otherwise when you go to push it back in, sometimes it bunches up, it can fold over itself. Uh, it's not the end of the world, it should create an effective seal, um, but it might create a little water channel for it to get back in, uh, and you can damage the seal as well by pinching it. Um, so a little bit of grease, I'm not gonna use one because um, it's, it's a brand new suit. Um, if you're caught short, you can kind of spit on it. Um, but one thing to note is that because it's oval shape, uh, the oval shape is where your hand is gonna go through that seal. So when you go to put it back on, kind of imagine where you want uh, your hand to naturally go through, because uh, otherwise you might have to twist your hand just to get it through the cuff seal and then to go back. Some dry suits have a, uh, an actual marker on them. It's normally a seam or something, so you put the, uh, the point of the seam sort of against that. Uh, a lot of waterproof dry suits, they have an actual marker saying, line it up here. But wherever it is, that naturally kind of sits your hands. So you get a bit of freedom on how you want to um, sort of get your dry suit on. So put it in nice and evenly. The trick is not to do one side and then the other because you'll pinch it. Uh, try and do it as evenly as possible and uh, just very, very gently pushing it back in, making sure it's not folding over anywhere. And then when you're at this stage where there's so little showing uh, that it can't sort of pinch itself, just with both hands, push it together until it clicks all the way around and then you're ready to go. Just double check by looking on the inside, making sure that um, there's no damage to the seal and it's not sort of folded over anywhere uh, and you're ready to go diving again. Okay, so that was a quick look at how to change silicone seals on a dry suit. They make it super easy to replace. You don't need to wait weeks uh, or even days for a sort of glues to go off and, uh, and sort of seal properly. You can do this on a dive site just before a dive. If you're getting kitted up, you rip a cuff seal, it's not the end of the world. Give it five minutes and you can fit a brand new replacement one. Uh, it makes it a very sort of flexible and very handy way to, uh, to repair your own dry suit. Thanks for watching guys, safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.